I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I rip CDs onto FLAC onto my PC. I'm gonna show you guys what website I use to buy FLAC files directly to my PC, as well as the software I use to burn those FLAC files and make my own compilation CDRs. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Audio Architects. My name's Mike. If this is your first time here, make sure to check out my other content, you might like it. And if you do like it, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to get notified every time I put out brand new videos. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to take one of your favorite CDs and rip it directly to FLAC format on your PC, as well as I'm gonna show you this really cool website I found where you can purchase FLAC files in FLAC format and download them directly to your computer. Then I'm gonna show you guys the software I use to burn those FLAC files onto a CD. Now, why do I do this? Why, 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 why you mean, why? Because guys, uh, number one, I've been burning CDs since like 1999, all right? I've been doing it for a long time, I really enjoy it. Number two, this CDR is rad, it has, <laughs> It's like vinyl on the top. I think it's cool. Whatever, shut up. So I enjoy that. And number three or four, wherever we're on, FLAC format has lost its audio. It's not gonna be compressed as compressed as MP3. So it's gonna be, you know, as pure as possible. And uh, I, I want to have my favorite songs for my favorite artists on one CD. I don't wanna have to switch out a bunch of CDs and stuff like that. I wanna keep it as simple as streamlined as possible. And if I can accomplish that with just a, a few programs and a, an easy process, why not? So I'm gonna show you guys from beginning to end how I do all of that, as well as I, I, I got a little extra guys and I went and purchased some um, inserts for jewel cases and I bought jewel cases. So that way I can make like an official album out of it <laughs> and have my own greatest hits. Because a lot of times these greatest hits that people do just to have songs that suck. So I wanna do my own. I wanna choose my own. I wanna curate my own greatest hits albums and have them on a CD so I can play it on my player and, and be done with it. So that's it. That's what I'm gonna show you today. Uh, let's roll this footage and show you exactly how it's all done. Okay, everybody. So you're gonna go ahead and go to exactaudiocopy.de and download the software. It's gonna be available in uh, some German language or some United States language. Just pick the UK, United States language, go to the third party site and download it. Go ahead and follow all the prompts. It's gonna prompt you with a lot of information. Make sure you read through every single thing and make sure you're installing the right stuff and make sure you know everything is as it should be for your, your enjoyment and your settings. Go ahead and uh, also go to uh, get the information for the CD. It's gonna have a, you know, a place where you can uh, sign up for that. It's like seven bucks for a lifetime subscription and it'll just automatically download titles album cover art and all the information for the album go ahead and start ripping the the cd uh you're gonna pick uh i picked compressed because that's flack you can do uncompressed but i don't want to take up that much space on my hard drive and flack is really good quality okay so next we're gonna go ahead and go to seven digital.com and this is the marketplace where I'm going to be downloading my flack for my uh, great, my Breaking Benjamin greatest hits. So I'm excited about this because I really love Breaking Benjamin. Go ahead and hit the 16-bit flack option because there is both 320 kilobytes or 16-bit. Go ahead and pick the ones you want. You'll see them there in your uh, your checkout basket. Go ahead and buy them after you're done picking them all out. Super easy. And then once you buy them, you'll be able to download the zip file that'll go directly into your PC. And then from there, you can extract it to your library. Now that the Tron is done uh, extracting into FLAC, and we're gonna go ahead and burn a CD. We're gonna be using AnyBurn. AnyBurn is a great software to burn CDs. It does recognize FLAC, which is awesome. You're just gonna go ahead and import the file where your uh, Tron stuff is, or your whatever you're listening to. In my case, I'm doing a Tron Legacy album. Go ahead and uh, upload it there, and go ahead and hit burn. So check out AnyBurn. AnyBurn's a great software to uh, use to 
make your CDs and make your uh, mixes and, and stuff like that. So I recommend any burn as well as exact audio copy for ripping to flack. Go ahead and just download any burn. It's super easy. It takes up hardly no space whatsoever. Easy peasy, super quick. And that's it. All right, guys. And there you have it. Nice, freshly burnt CD. Uh, you know, I'm I'm really happy with this whole process. Uh, so using exact audio copy, that's how you rip your CDs to flack. Or you could do uncompressed, as you saw in the prompts there. Uncompressed is going to be super, super huge. However, I feel compressing it down to flack, you know, it's not going to be a, a detrimental uh, situation for you. I think it'll be fine. Uh, I just feel that a lot of people don't have the space on their hard drives to be ripping their entire collection in, uh, you know, complete un uncompressed wave format. Because that's about 50 megabytes per song. So keeping it around 25 megabytes per song in a flack format, I think it's perfectly fine, guys. It's not going to be a problem. And then using any burns, uh, you know, software to burn the CD, which it does read flack and many other um, formats and stuff like that. So, all right, guys, you ready to see the final product? Check this out totally legit it says breaking Benj even has a little explicit lyric thing breaking benjamin greatest hits the spine is even legit the back has all the songs i chose for it oh man i'm really happy with the way this turned out i found some cover art online that i that someone had had made and like i said this is not going to be uh you know hand it out to anybody this is my own personal hobby slash obsession with music so this is something cool that i that i can you know experience with myself i even found the font that correlates with the breaking benjamin font and as you can see inside you got the the disc ready to go in the description below i will be linking the software i used as well as the inserts and the cdrs so that way you guys have an idea of you know what i'm using and what what i'm what i'm up to so and i hope you guys go on seven digital and, and see what uh what kind of music is available they seem to have a huge catalog of music so i i even searched for some really you know strange uh out you know left field type of stuff and they had it so they have a huge catalog it's available in flack that's another way to obviously um you know, uh, expand your horizons and, and create your own compilations and greatest hits. So thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to mention them in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer questions for you guys or comments or, you know, feedback. Or if you guys have an even better way of doing this, please share it with me so that way I can share it with everybody else. Uh, I think that's very important. Sharing information is extremely important in this industry because it's always good to learn something new from somebody. You know, I'm, I'm, I welcome that. So thanks again for joining me. If you guys haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to get notified when I put out brand new videos. Thanks again for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Hey.